If you want to build a $550 gaming PC, this video is actually meant for you. And also with Black Friday coming up, building a gaming PC can be a little bit complicated. So this video is kind of like designed to help you figure things out before it's too late. And also wait, if you're interested in any of these parts that I'm going to mention in this video, I've dropped a link of every part in the description down below. And now on with the video. Now first we're going to start with our 550 gaming PC. Now we're going to be going with a Ryzen 5 5500. This is a fantastic CPU. I'm also running the same CPU. A Ryzen 5 5500 can definitely be paired with any 1080p gaming GPUs. I would not recommend this CPU for 1440p GPUs because this CPU is not that powerful and it does not support PCIe Gen 4. So it's not that much of a big deal. But the CPUs are here, the Ryzen 5 3600 and an i3 12100F. This CPU right now is very very cheap on Amazon. It's at $61 at the time of recording this video. As you can see right here, I hope the price hasn't changed. If you like the CPU, I think the best time to buy the CPU is right now because $61, I think it's the first time I'm seeing this CPU at $61 because last time I bought the CPU, it was around $83. And uh, last time I saw this CPU being low, I was at uh, $75. Now, right now it's at $61, so I think it's the best time to buy it right now. And for CPU cooler, we're going to be going with a stock cooler because the Ryzen 5 5500 always comes with a stock cooler. And a stock cooler is actually enough for the CPU because right now, I'm also running a stock cooler as well but i must warn you a stock cooler runs loud when you're gaming whenever you're gaming and your cpu is going at around 80 to 90 degrees but it's something that you're gonna have to get used to if you don't have a cooler but a cooler is not that expensive you can go with an id cooling for around 17 to 18 dollars on amazon which is kind of like something that will help you out when it comes to your cooling system but yeah for now we're just gonna be going with a stock cooler now for motherboard we're gonna be going with a gigabyte b550k micro atx a for motherboard i'm sorry for reading the whole thing i want to go with the a520 but yeah, you know like this one you can stick it four sticks of ram and it has pca gen 4 even though our cpu doesn't support pca gen 4. now one thing that i don't like about this motherboard is the heat sinks now this motherboard doesn't have the best heat sinks but what i like about it is that you can fit in four sticks of ram and you can also stick in two m the twos this one here at the top is pca gen 4 and this one here at the bottom is pca gen 3. what well, i'm not pretty sure right now but i'm gonna let you know right now now moving on for the ram we're gonna be going with uh 16 gigabyte i feel bad that i, well, I went with 16 gigabyte things are actually expensive Right now, especially with RAM, DDR4 RAM are like going crazy right now. This is the Temp Technical Conduit 16 gigabyte, 2 by 8 gigabyte, running at 3200 megahertz CL timing of 16. It's a good set of, of RAM sticks. I remember maybe like last year I was buying like uh you you could buy like 2 by 16 gigabyte RAM sticks for 50 dollars, but right now like this RAM is like is at uh, 45 dollars only available right now on Newegg. I'm pretty sure it's available on Amazon as well. Maybe maybe after Black Friday or during Black Friday they are gonna be like cheaper. But for now we're gonna have to deal with this the time tech pinnacle this is what we have the cl time of 16 like i mentioned so yeah 44 45 dollars yeah that's what we're going to be going with uh, at this point you could sacrifice your storage and maybe go with 500 gig and then uh, go with 32 gigabyte of ram and speaking of storage we're going to be going with silicon power one terabyte gen 4 nvme for gpu to pair with the 5500 we're going to be going with the intel arc this is the b570 now the b570 is a very wonderful gaming gpu now when it comes to gaming in marvel rivals as you can see it's doing a whole lot better than the rtx 46 and the RX 7600 but when we are pairing the GPU with the Ryzen 5 5600 you can see a little bit of drop with the 9800 X3D it was hitting around 95 FPS max with the 5600 is hitting 82 FPS max another thing that is actually surprising the B580 it was at 105 FPS with the 9800 X3D but right now it's at 89 FPS which is a very huge drop this GPU has problems when it comes to pairing it with older CPUs moving on for the case we're gonna go with a Montec Air 100 ARGB Micro AT X mid tower case. Now this case is a fantastic case. It comes with four fans pre-installed. Now these fans are ARGB which means you can control them using a reset button. You can either turn off or turn on uh, the RGB uh, on this case. Now this case is at $70 right now on Amazon at the time of recording this video. Case prices are not moving a lot. Not like RAM. No. And speaking of prices, I forgot to tell you about the GPU. The B550 is $210. Now moving on for the power supply, we're going to be going with a Camel Take Smart. A 550 watt 80 plus certified power supply. This power supply is the best when it comes to budget builders and it's also $40 at the time of recording this video. Now 500 watts is going to be good enough for our build. Our estimated wattage is going to be 319 watts which means something like a 450 watt PSU would have been good enough but you know we, we had to put like at least 50 watt extra to have that future proving. Now our top for this build will be $548.79 which is good. Now moving on we're going to be going for our 750 gaming PC. Now we're going to be going with an Intel CPU. Now the best video CPU that I see right now is this Intel i5 12400 
have. Now this CPU is actually the best because this CPU also supports DDR4 and DDR5 at the same time. It's better than the 5600 when it comes to performance and when you put in that DDR5 RAM is going to be even better than the 5600 because the 5600 is only limited to DDR4 because it's on AM4 motherboard. Now this CPU right now is at $116. It's very cheap right now. It's cheaper than the 5600 and for CPU cooler we're going to be going with a stock cooler. It's good enough to cool the CPU and this CPU also comes with a stock cooler 99% of the time. And for motherboard we're going to be going with the MSI Pro H610 DDR4 motherboard. This is not DDR5 however even though our CPU also supports DDR5 but for now we're going to be going with DDR4 motherboard. This motherboard sucks at some point because it only has two slots of RAM. Not the best with heat sinks but you know like it's doable. It's not that bad. This motherboard right now is at around $90. Now for RAM this time around we went with 2x16GB DDR4 RAM. Now we managed to go with 2x16GB of RAM with this uh, G Skill Rip Jaws. This one is a little bit expensive but on your work right now it's got a promo code which will actually save you $14 making this RAM $79. So I think yeah it's kind of like worth it right now because RAMs are getting expensive and I don't think they're gonna get cheaper soon because somewhere around last year during this time RAMs were getting cheaper. That is around the same time when I bought my RAM. Now for storage once again we're gonna be going with the same storage. This is the Silicon Power 1TB Gen 4 NVMe still $53 right now with a budget of $750 we can afford 2x16GB in a 1TB M32. Now moving on to pair with an i5 12400F. For the GPU we're gonna be going with the MSI GeForce RTX 16. This is the 12GB version. This is the best version of this uh, GPU. This is maybe one of NVIDIA's best production yet. It's the only GPU at this price range that has 12GB of free RAM and it can also play any game internet p 240 p which is kind of like weird. Now this GPU goes head to head with GPUs like the RTX 4016 and it's way cheaper than the RTX 4060 and it can beat it at some point when it comes to gaming. Now for $20 more you can go with GPUs like the RTX 5060. That GPU is way better than the 3016. It's also a GPU that makes the 4060 obsolete because the 5060 is way better than the 4060 and the 4060 is way expensive compared to the 5060 and the 5060 is also brand new which also brings new softwares and stuff like that. Now moving on for the case we're going to be going with maybe my favorite case the Montec XR. Now this case is a mid tower case. It's also a fish tank. It doesn't have the best cooling yet because it comes with three ARGB fans pre-installed but you can add some fans here during the way and it's very cheap right now. This case is at $70 at the time of recording this video. Now moving on for the power supply we're going to be going with the MSI Meg A550 BN. This is obviously a 550 watt power supply. Now this power supply is at $58. It's a high quality power supply. A lot of people prefer this power supply. I also prefer this power supply but on top of that it's a non-modular power supply which means the cables are going to be a problem. You're going to have to stuff them in the case whenever you're building with this power supply but it's not a bad thing. Our estimated wattage is going to be 386 watts. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's something that we should at least expect with a RTX 3060 and an i5 12400F. And our total cost for this build is going to be $745 and 14 cents. We're still below budget. Now moving on, we are going to be going for our $850 gaming PC. Now for our $850 gaming PC, for CPU, we're going to be going with the Ryzen 7 5700. We were not able to go with the 5700X. That is the CPU that I wanted to go with. And I also wanted to go with AM5 because $850 is a lot. Our AM5 has uh, expensive things. I'm talking about motherboard DDR5 CPUs and our GPU would have been to be very cheap because we're going to be sacrificing all that with our motherboard memory and stuff like that. So I chose to go with the 5700. This is a very perfect CPU. Another CPU that I would recommend is the 5700X but that CPU is like $165 somewhere around the same price as the 7600X. 7600X is another CPU that I would also recommend if you want to go with AM5 because that CPU right now is kind of like cheap. $165 is a very, it's very cheap for a CPU like that because that CPU is to be around like $200 two months back so we like right now it's very cheap now cooling the 5700 is the id cooling i had to go with a cooler for this one because this cpu is very hard i know it comes with a stock cooler but we could use it because the cpu also comes with a stock cooler we're going to be going with the id cooling the id cooling is at 18 dollars at the time of recording this video it's, on, it's also available on amazon you should go ahead and check it out and like i said i've dropped a link down below now for the motherboard we're going to be going with the asus prime b550 now before i built my first gaming pc i also considered this motherboard but at some point it went up in terms of pricing i went with the msi b450 ma pro max 2 but right now that's that motherboard is way more expensive compared to this motherboard that motherboard is at a hundred and something dollars or something like that doesn't make sense to me because this motherboard is way better than the msi b450 ma pro max 2 because this motherboard has better heat sinks supports two m.2s and also fit in for rams of stakes and it also supports pcie gen 4 it doesn't make sense to me now moving on for memory we're going to be going with corsair vengeance 2 by 16 gigabyte this is the 32 gigabyte ram ddr4 running at 3200 megahertz with cl timing of 16 the best ram right now 
now. Now this RAM right now is at $83. Moving on for storage, but also still gonna be going with the same storage. This storage is the only storage that makes sense right now. Now moving on for the graphics card, we're gonna be going with the RX 9060 XT, the 16 gigabyte version. Now we've managed to sneak in this GPU in our budget. Like I said, if we would have went with AM5, wouldn't be able to afford this GPU with our DDR5 because you know like RAM is very expensive. Our motherboard is gonna be like very expensive as well. So yeah, we chose to go with our performance over like future proving at this at this point because like we know now right now we can definitely play any game in 1440p all day every day because we have the 9060 xt it's a 1440p king this cpu goes head to head with the rtx 5060 ti the 16 gigabyte version also this cpu has 16 gigabytes of vram it's very useful when it comes to 1440p because 1440p gaming also requires a lot of low vram amd has the best price to performance so this cpu is at our 350 dollars now moving on for the case we're going to be going with the Montec X3 Mesh. This case right now is at around $89 at the time of recording this video. Now this is one of my favorite cases as well because this case comes with 6 fans pre-installed. Now this is very cheap. I don't know about you but I've seen a lot of cases in this case it actually makes sense right now. Now for the power supply we're still going to be going with the MSI Mag A550B and a 551 power supply certified bronze 80 plus. And now you might be wondering 551 is going to be good enough for the 9060 XT. Well yeah that GPU is power efficient and our estimated budget is going to be 334 watts. Now, if you're interested in any of those parts I just mentioned, I've dropped a link down below. You can go ahead and check that video out. And if you also enjoyed this video, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy some of these videos that are going to pop somewhere in the screen. And I appreciate it a lot. Show some love by liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you in the next video. Sweet and saucy. Ah.